Guys, what about the channel? As the thumbnail says, oh, I've got a misfire. So we want to try and sort this misfire out. Now, on these Mondeos, they've got vacuum. Most cars now might have got vacuum hoses here, 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 under here, and there, everywhere. There's vacuum hoses. If you get a vacuum leak, what it can do, and what it can cause misfire, uh, and also stop the car from completely starting. Uh, so, what you do to take, test that is you do get yourself a smoke machine. Now, I haven't got a smoke machine, and I'm not going to take it to a mechanic for him to charge me 50 quid just to put it on a smoke machine. So, what I've done is a few YouTube channels, uh, been on there and had a look at some hacks. And one of them to make one is by using one of these transfer pumps. Uh, basically attaching it to, you can see I've got there is I've got a rubber glove over the main intake and then with this transfer pump using a cigar you just put the cigar into there gently light the cigar, start pumping it get it stuck in so then it's going to blow the smoke all the way through through all the air box into everywhere and hopefully if we don't get any smoke appearing from anywhere then we haven't got a vacuum leak so then the last thing we will look at then is the HT leads and possibly the call pack but, uh, I don't know whether you can see these here I've done these off camera but these are all new pigtail clips uh, which go to the injectors uh, the old ones were I'll put a picture they were all bare and that I did that off camera because it was quite fiddly and I needed to take the whole room out take it into the house and put that on but they're done anyway so they're all new and I know that they're working fine so that's where the problem ticked off so we know that's not the problem so right, without further ado I shall go and grab an assistant and uh, we'll start pumping some smoke through so we've got this going so it might take a while so you might see this on fast forward for a bit Okay guys, don't know whether you can see, now if you look here, around this area here, can you see that smoke there? Can you see it? And there you go, you can see that now, can't you? So what we've got to work out... Problem, I reckon he's under this one. Is it the seal for this to the car? to go off I'm going to play that back so I can have a good look where that's coming from but everyone did see that there was some smoke coming from there so I'm wondering whether there's a problem with this yeah we've got some smoke coming out but we've still got some smoke in the system Right guys, so yes, we're well, definitely getting smoke around there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip this back off and have a good look see what's going on. Uh, there was nothing from anywhere else, so okay. <laughs> One little rubber seal 
the split which goes over these which holds the, the air filter box and box that they call, uh, on and even that one <laughs> it's not looking very good there you have it that is where we're getting our leak from now the only downside about that well, is what I can do so guys further investigation I just took the car for a little spin down the road with the airbox off so I thought well it should technically run okay um, and it wasn't it was still missing so which is the only thing I'll be pointing to and I know I was getting funny sparks from some of these HT leaks <sighs> so A new set of anyway, because, you know, we don't know how old these ones are. Um, those little rubbers that I showed you earlier, all they are are just cushioning rubbers. They don't actually act as a, an air seal or anything. I found out what the seal is inside the plenum box. Just put it out. That is the seal that goes around the throttle body there to seal it. And I didn't notice on it, it had got a couple of nicks, a couple of rips. But luckily we can flick it round, turn it round, try and get it so it's on a good sealing edge. So, I'm going to put it all back together. Um, and obviously then there's nothing else I can do until I've got the HT leads which I've got to pick up in the morning uh, this being Thursday um, so Friday morning on my way to work I'll pick them up on my way to work I can put them straight on the car then and then I can do a little bit of video in the car so the next time it'll be about <laughs> 24 hours later for you for, for, for me sorry but for you it'll literally be click of the fingers still today <laughs> um, but I thought I'd go take a quick spin now put everything together and he is still I mean I don't know if you can see that he's still quite badly doing it so to me it's HD leads it's got to be obviously I will check a couple of the spark plugs but I don't think it could be a, it could be a spark related problem I, I think that is the problem a spark related problem so I will have a quick look at the spark plugs as well um, but tomorrow morning I'll pick up these new HT leads anyway and yeah We'll whack them on, see if that makes a difference. That makes, uh, and possibly I might. In fact, I think I'm just going to get a, a new set. Of, I'm just going to get a new set of spark plugs as well. I think it, it's stupid if I'm changing the HT leads, I might as well change the spark plugs because new HT leads with old spark plugs, then our spark plugs are going to be getting more power to it, and they could have a problem. So, yeah, more money. So, yeah, 24 hours for me, a couple of seconds for you. It's the next day, and guess what? This car is like it's just had everything reconditioned on it. HT leads, dodgy HT leads, and it's moving beautifully. So, yeah. There we have it, dodgy HT lead. So, it's good to do all the other checks that I did anyway, uh, because they are prone to vacuum leaks, and we did find a little one. Um, and if it was going to find any others, it would have been better to sort them out. But that, that little transfer pump thing that I bought, it was only about eight quid, and I can use it for lots of other stuff, so, um, and I can always use it again. If I ever have problems in the future, I think, oh, I might have a vacuum leak on any of the vehicles, to be honest, you can use it on anything. 
Um, so yeah, so I've got all out back again. Um, better than he was when I had him uh, because he's got a very, very slight miss, which obviously must have been the start of the HT lead breaking down. Um, so there won't be a Friday waffle because I'm going to put this out when I get home. Uh, it's 20, well, yeah, it's nearly half past six, uh, half past six on a Friday evening. Uh, sun is shining. Uh, I'm back in work again tomorrow uh, for the last day. Then I'm off for a week after my brother's wedding and then uh, some chill time at home for the rest of the week. Uh, get some jobs done at home and obviously on uh, Oddy to get him ready. Uh, for his uh, little adventure he's got to do and his classic car meet uh, or classic car show in Prestatil at the end of uh, August well not the end of August it's the bank holiday Monday uh, Prestat in North Wales uh, it's a big car classic car show they have there uh, I'm doing the run on the Sunday which is the drive out from um, I guess right it's from Flint uh, the drive out um, there's actually a car, they have car meets there, um, Billy's, Billy Jean's Classics. I've not yet had a chance to get down there myself with Oddie, so it would be his first time down there. And then we're travelling from there down to Bala, I do believe, and then from Bala all the way back up to uh, the Beaches Hotel in Prestatin. And then obviously then the actual show on the Bank Holiday Monday. So yeah, if anyone's about Bank Holiday Monday, head to Prestatin, going to be a cracking day there. Gonna be lots and lots of classic cars, old, vintage, modern, modern classics here to see. Uh, and yes, Oddie will be there. <laughs> so yeah, Oddie will be there. I would like to get Arlo there as well, but uh, I think he's a little bit too young uh, for for the for what they do there. Uh, could be wrong, but I can't drive two cars anyway, so, so we'll just take Oddie. And yeah. Um, Next for thing I'm going to be doing is it is going to be on Oddy. I think I know his paint was really rubbish. It's on there, but I think I might give it a buff and a polish anyway. Uh, just see how it comes up. Just see if it looks all right for the rest of this year. As I say, as you will know, he's coming off the road uh, uh, after that car meet anyway. Um, being dismantled. Uh, yeah, the fun shall begin. So enjoy your weekend, guys. Have fun, stay safe, I'll see you on the next one.